Normally, large stars would go supernova and leave behind massive black holes. But these celestial giants weren't just large, they were so huge, their size allowed them to absorb the explosive force that would otherwise shoot the star's outer layers out into space. Instead, these ancient stars only experienced implosions, which transformed their stellar cores into tiny black holes, while keeping the outer layers intact. If you could somehow observe this phenomenon from a close distance, you wouldn't even notice any changes within the star. Now that there's a baby black hole inside a quasi-star, it starts eating it from the inside. At this point, the black hole is tiny, but it's spinning, and this creates a disk of hot material, circling it at nearly the speed of light. On top of that, there's no longer a limit on how fast it can devour gas as the star's pressure sends it straight into the black hole. The friction within the accretion disk becomes hotter and hotter, emitting tons of radiation and making the hot star glow like a small galaxy. 